So Jorge screwed up. He left his camera laying around. Kelvin, what are you gonna say? Nothing. Nothing. Jorge is killing it out there. Killing it. We're so, just looking at how bad of a driver I am. Yeah, we're just, we're just uh. Not good, not good. LCQ, right? LCQ bound, baby. You'll do it, dude. Smooth is fast, remember that. I know. No, no, but wait. Oh, okay. no. everybody I am here in the holy spot where the morning walks happen thank you for tuning back into the show we had an amazing day yesterday we're hoping to keep that momentum going today but you know how racing is it could be another up and down day we're trying to stay clean try to stay fast <laughs> and try to stay safe um, this is where it happens guys this is where it all goes down. I'm <laughs> just freezing. <laughs> I don't know. It's like 40 degrees in the morning. But I'm trying, I'm trying to stay composed. Um, I was. I thought about saying something enlightening, but uh, nothing's coming to mind at all. And I'm not that good of a BS to sound that good. So I'm gonna keep it short and simple. Um, I'm trying to find a little bit of luck and speed and I thought I'd come to where the morning walks happen to make it happen. A uh, beautiful place, beautiful morning, beautiful weather. Uh, I'm hoping it stays this way for the rest of the weekend. Hope it stays dry. I say there's hope, there's nothing in the forecast for rain, but this is Newcastle, this is the Grants, and for some reason, when we show up, the rain likes to follow us. So, um, everybody back home, I uh, hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys are um, recovering from the storm that just happened. Um, you know, everybody that, that had issues and uh, damages, I hope you guys get that recovered quickly. As long as everybody's safe, um, everything is, um, everything's replaceable except for you. So, let's get this day going. Thanks, thanks for everybody. Thanks, like, subscribe, and share. I'm trying to do my best, but I'm freezing. My head is cold. Uh, my body's doing pretty good. Got the sweet Griggs jacket. Bought that yesterday. Not a big deal. I'm surprised how warm this little bad boy is. Now, we got early morning warm up. Three heat races. Let's see where we start for the finals. Let's get after it. It's so around behind Ryan this morning. Uh, too bad the battery died, but I learned a lot thanks to him. He was quick all weekend. All right, guys. Practice in the books, really good. Cart was doing great. Um, my buddy Tony came over here and yelled at me for not, don't change the car because I wanted to change to it. And I didn't listen to him, so Tony can be mad at me. Uh, I, I did one change to the chassis. Um, I'm not sure if it'll work, uh, but if it does, good. If it doesn't, hopefully I don't lose too many spots. Uh, let's try finish this heat in the top. Let's try to finish the heat in the top 20, okay? Stewart's been working the whole time. We found out that it's cassette. Cassette, all right. So, so he's been throwing a couple chains lately. So we put the laser on, and the laser was off cockeyed a little bit. So he he decided to roll the sprocket, put on a different part of the sprocket, and the and laser lined up perfectly. Where your, where your sprocket goes, the cassette carrier was bent. So it kept popping the chain. So swap the cassette carrier out. New chain, and uh, not new chain. Yeah, basically a new chain, cassette carrier. Send it. And we got Mike Smoker here. The man, the myth, the legend. If you're looking for some mini gears, hit him up. He's the man. He's the one that makes them. He hates being on camera. All right, here we are for heat number one, starting P13. This is the highest I've started at the Grands yet. And I'm scared out of my mind to wreck and turn one. <laughs> oh my God, I'm just hoping that we get out of this uh, clean and well. And then right when the green flag goes, uh, we get going. I see a little smoke from JD's car. Um, his clutch doesn't really engage that well. 
and I'm like, oh man, it's not gonna be good. But it turned out to be pretty good. We got pretty uh, way pretty clean. Uh, Perkins was on my outside. He goes on the inside of JD. I follow him right through, and then we're just gonna go and try to move forward. Now for this run, uh, I added all the caster in the world into a cart because um, you know they're telling me more casters, more faster, and it was for a first couple of laps um the car is quicker uh with the caster but for some reason you know i just get tight towards the end of the run and you're gonna see this uh, i'm just gonna move up with uh with james follow him through uh whenever he makes a move i'm gonna try to pounce on it as well just gotta be close enough uh he does not want to wait around uh james is usually very patient but i'm guessing when he's in the mid back uh, he's not patient there he shows me a little sign to give him a little bump he made a clean move through on uh, number 70 uh, i was just not close enough to go through um but during practice i was around 70 all day as well and he would be really good at the beginning get kind of tight in the middle and then be real fast at the end uh, so this cart was just all over the place he would be just good tight good it was weird so here he would come down the middle come back out pop back out uh good smart tactics i'd give him a little bump letting him know i'm there um i just do that for pressure i just like to give people taps here and there just let them know i'm right behind them hopefully they make a mistake uh, a little slight mistake um just under knowing the person behind them is being their back door off uh it did not phase him at all he didn't give a crap so first opportunity i got i was going to send it in um, my whole goal is just to get a good run out here and then pop out and then just go on the inside. It usually was a good passing zone right here where they used to call a scoreboard. Uh, I was able to do it, slide up in front, and then hold this position. Um, the person I had behind me was my teammate, uh, JD, and I really thought it was going to be a really good run. Um, basically, with two laps to go, uh, we're going through. Um, turn one, turn two, turn three. I know I was getting tighter as the run went on. The last two laps, it was really hard for me to hold on. And uh, I thought he was going to stand behind me. And this is probably the saddest moment throughout the whole weekend is when I see him blow by me and he drags three carts with him. I felt like I died inside. <laughs> oh, man, that he get by me. I was like, crap. So I was like, all right, maybe I can hang with them and then maybe make a move in the end. Uh, losing three position wasn't bad. It would put me back, I think, I don't know, I might have been running around 11th at that time. So around 14th or 15th it would put me. So still really good uh, run in the heat race. So I'm, I'm thinking to myself, okay, I can I can hang with these guys. It's not a big deal. Uh, he just got by me, got a good run. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to try to suck right back in, get in their draft. And then just stay really clean, smooth. So here I start gaining back again. Um, but then coming out of that little mini bar, I can feel the car just bind up a little bit. And this double left-hander, I just get into number 70 in the wrong spot. They pull away a little bit. Uh, but the whole time I'm thinking, I just need to get back when it gets close. Uh, white flag coming out. So it's really uh, hoping one of the guys in front make a move. But they really just stay lined up uh, nose to tail throughout the run. Uh, there's not much uh, battling for position. Um, they just stayed lined up. And really for this heat race, um, since we were in a good spot, making a move would have been rough. Uh, right there, Jeff Scott just blew by me like I was standing still. I thought I had like an anchor um, on the back, but he was really moving towards the end of this race. Uh, his car was working really, really well. Uh, coming up here, you know you're going to go this this left, left, and then go up to the right-hander. Um I thought I could get close enough uh, coming out of this right-hand turn to maybe make a move back on the scoreboard. I just didn't get that good of a run. Um, I was really just holding on for dear life at this point in time. And uh, they just stay lined up. So I try to get another decent exit. But right here, I'm not going to make any moves. There's no point to force the issue or try to make anything stupid. Uh, wreck and then end up in the back. Um, or with, Right there, I did screw up. I'm glad nobody was close enough to me. But happy with the position, happy with the run. Uh, P16, yeah, I would like P12, but, you know, P16 isn't bad at all. Just starting on the outside had me a little worried. Sounds great. Yeah, it's better. Told you. I don't know why my tri flying. Huh? Yeah. Whoop! Look who made it to the tent.
That's a light winner right there. Oh, oh God. <laughs> so, okay. When I went on car chase and my pick for Dylan was to win light, don't wreck him. That's cheating, okay? <laughs> they use him like a bowling ball. So, uh, uh, first heat race in the books, really well. Cart just got a little bound up. Uh, probably my fault because I just keep messing with it like when I shouldn't mess with it. So, uh, I'm gonna do one more change. <laughs> I never learned my lesson, all right? So, I messed up the axle uh, that last run. So, I'm gonna take the front end adjustment back out of it and I'm gonna send it with the axle. It's by far the hardest axle they make. Full send mode. All right, heat number two coming up, starting P16 on the outside, uh, right behind number 70. Uh, everybody's pushing and jostling and beating and banging. And, um, you know, just starting the middle of the pack, you're getting pushed from behind, and it just gets all out of whack. They all check up. Um, everybody gets in the back of everybody, and then uh, we get JD squared away sideways. Uh, 70's a little mad at me. I don't know why. We're all just pushing, so... Uh, tempers are starting to flare already for this start. Um, so I, I already know it's, it might be pretty bad, but I'm just hoping that we get away cleanly. Um, and you know how luck has it during these big events, it, it's not a grand national unless I screw up or get caught in a, in a, in a bumper car fest. So we get going here. Someone's going to get a little bit out of whack. I check up, get sent a little wide. And then everybody decides to go through. Uh, I don't get any space on the outside, but it really doesn't matter. Um, a little pop from behind and a chain comes right off. Uh, just not not the start I wanted. P2, P, a heat two, finished dead last. Only made it to three turns. Heat number three coming up. All right. I was too hot to even do a recap after that run, so... Uh, heat three starting in the back uh, i think there's one one guy to my outside and immediately during a warm-up lap i thought something was wrong and sure enough um i made a huge mistake uh i was changing gearing i dropped my front driver and never changed the rear gear um had crazy power on the bottom end because i was running in orlando gear but after that there was nothing on the top end um get a good run here i'm on the inside of stewart Stir gets really good run the outside. They touch. Uh, bam. Um, looking at that, we looked at over and over again. We don't really know what happened. Uh, Mark gets in front of me. And then after this, I just know I needed someone to push me because I was on the rev limiter 90% of the way of the track. But on the infield, I could just pass. So that was good. Just making all the moves I could. And right here, I'm already on the limiter. That's bad. <laughs> That's bad. Guys, it's real bad. Oh, yeah, but I knew these first couple of laps I had to get through. I had to battle out. I had to get going quickly because it was going to be real bad. Jeremy's in front of me. Uh, Mark's making moves, uh, beating and banging. And I knew something was going to happen because uh, he would throw it in without a care in the world. So I was hoping he would take out half the people uh, in front of me. Uh, Jeremy battles, battles me really hard back. A uh, good move on him. We did side by side, and I'm just beating the back door off. Uh, I'm not happy at this point in time. I'm really ticked off, so um, I'm just trying to make moves and go forward, and there goes everybody running away from me. I was trying to think in my head, how am I going to survive the rest of the race being this far off on gear? And there you go. Mark did his job and cleared out a, a hole for me. But then he comes on track and smacks into everybody, so... Um, uh, he was a wild man. He was uh, a little bit wilder than me, to be honest. Um, going down a couple laps later, I'm trying to make my way forward. I'm still behind Jeremy. I just have nothing down the straightaway. Um, I'm already on the limiter again. It's just insane how bad of a mistake I did. Um, so I would have to drive it 10 times harder. Um, here, I'm not even trying to make a pass. I'm just trying to uh, basically block on the inside. Uh, but we're coming up here. I know I have way more speed on the inside. So right there, Jeremy gets a little wide. I follow the 18 through. 18 opens the door. I'm going to shove it in. And look, I'm already back up to JD. Um, I am just coming with a freight train as hard as I can. Uh, I'm trying to keep people behind me as much as I can as well. I'm really looking for a pusher. Someone just to push my back bumper. 
Uh, nobody wanted to do that. Mark goes through. I am not going to give him the position easily. I'm going to fight it right back. Um, I hold him off until I know he's going to get burnt down the straightaway again. Uh, it's just frustrating because if I had the right gear, I know it would have made a ton more positions up. Um, I can't believe the lap times I pulled off. The cart was just handling great. Um, just just way off on gearing, guys. I can't believe I made a mistake that big. Um, dang. And the whole time, I'm not even... I'm not, I didn't even think it was me that made the mistake. I thought somebody else made the mistake. So I was just pissed off, period. So it was just head down, move forward, and do the best I could. Uh, cart was handling great. I was not getting tight towards the end of the run. Um, the cart stayed free. I dropped tire pressure real low. And then I, the, the, I took all the caster back out of it and uh, did another adjustment. Uh, the 18 gets in front of me. Uh, since he wasn't going to push, I was going to try to do the opposite. I was going to try to push him in the tight section. Uh, if he made like a slight mistake, I wasn't going to make a move. I was just going to use him to stay forward. And in the moment that he would stick his nose in anywhere, I was just going to push him through. I was not going to give him the opportunity to back out of it at all. Uh, like right here, I try to give him a push. Um, and then we're going into right back before the uh, scoreboard turn. The moment he makes a move, we have Kevin in front. I'm going to follow him right through the front. Um, Kevin saw that I came through. He raced me super clean like he always does. He gives me the inside. Um, I move on through. And then thanks to Kevin, he actually um, noticed that I'm guessing I didn't have any top end speed at all. And he ended up pushing me down the straightaway, helping me out. So thanks to Kevin. Props to him for helping me out. Uh, you can see there Mark cr cr uh, K uh, creating chaos in front of me. So definitely I knew I had a chance to catch the group in front. Um, even though I think we were coming down to basically the white flag, uh, anything can happen. Um, you know, racing, anything can happen. But I can see the guys in front of me. I can see the group in front of me. And I just know once I get past this quick section, and thanks Kevin for pushing me, I didn't lose that much. I could just really send her in going to this back half of the track. Um, I had to make some moves real quick. The moment any door opened up, I was going to go for it. It was no if, buts, or and. Um, if I saw any hint of daylight, the cart was going to be there. So that was my mentality at this point in time. I had to gain as much position, damage control due to heat too, because uh, they were progressive but they did a point system of how you were starting the finals. And right now, it wasn't looking good. 18 gets a little sideways, gifted a position. Um, coming back on, on the back of Dave Cole, uh, I have JD in front, and I have James in front as well. I'm trying to see if I can get past these two, um, maybe gain a little bit more. Um, um, look, one or two more spots would have been great. Just driving my, my ass off. Now the white flag comes out. It is the last lap. Uh, they start pulling away. I had a good 18 uh, stayed behind me, pushing me this time. Um, thanks to him. He, I know he probably was like, Jesus, what is this? what's wrong with this guy? Uh, I have to go down. I have to do a little block. Uh, I come back, take my little racing line. I see them battling it out. Right when Dave goes on the inside, he makes a slight little mistake. He loses a little speed. He's going to open up for this left-hander. I shove it in on the left-hander. I see James right in front of me. I said, man, if I can get past James, that will be great as well. Maybe one more spot, two more spots, uh, anything to try to get up. It was just a hard-fought race. Um, the cart just did, you know, I was just fucking happy, man. That shit was rolling all day. Uh, just my stupid mistake, man. I just know I had way more speed than if I just put the right dang gear on. Um, but overall, you know, awesome run just great uh coming up here to a line had a really good run just being his back door trying to get him a little loose maybe here on this exit but it didn't work out in the end coming from last to p25 i had a blast good run good way to end the day really after heat two i was not a happy camper heat three the visor came down it was the gloves off it was time to go and that's exactly what i did Right, we're back. End of day review. Stuart, elbows out driving. Mike, thanks for the mechanic and all the help. Without him, I couldn't be up front, to be honest. 
um, Camp Chaos, Stacy, Marshall, Katie, awesome, Park Tech, Jordan, Matt, the rest of the crew. Uh, everybody had a good time. Um, the heat race, I had an issue. We'll talk about that issue. In the finals, I messed up on gearing myself. So I ran a 3.8 gear ratio, and you're not supposed to be anywhere near that. So, but I went from 47th to 25th, so I'm super happy. Um, freaking pumped. Can't wait for tomorrow. Car is hooked up. Car is flying. The MGM has speed. I have speed. This is the best I've ever felt the fucking grounds. I got speed, baby. Tomorrow. It's gonna be bad for the competition. For the competition, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share, like always. Catch you guys on track.